So I got a whole bunch of new items since my last video I did a couple years ago and I want you guys to take a look at it. All right. Um, these clippers here I use, they're my main, my main pairs. I have two different kinds of Andy's Masters. These are from Cut Chemist. They basically modify the clipper uh, by moving the mag, the uh, the actual ma the arm closer to the magnet, so it's a little more powerful. Then they bevel the blade here, which allows you to almost cut to a zero gap. I wouldn't exactly say it's zero gapped, and the reason being is I zero gap these, and there's a difference. These are zero gapped. These are close, close enough. Uh, I like these as far as my trimmers. It's a, it's a little bit better than a regular. Andy's T outliners is like a GTX version or whatever. Anyways, they come in black. They make a better blade. It's a little, the teeth are a little deeper. I, I find out that they're stronger too. These are probably the best trimmers that I have. One of the best pairs I've ever used. The wall detailers in the front. I don't know what happened to the front. It kind of came off. Whatever. Anyways, these guys definitely top rated. Now, moving on. Looks like I have my wall five star shaver. Um, I have used the Andes before, there's Andes Profoil. Now, I don't know what happened, but I lost the cord like the first week I had it and was never really able to use them to their potential. So anyways, I bought these after and I'd probably say these are a lot better. Uh, I am an Andes guy, but if Wall makes something better, I'm going to use it. <laughs> now this, this I use as an organizer to hold all my guards. This I built by myself, it's magnetic. So what I did was I took a piece of wood, you know, cut it to size, find out how wide the magnets were on these guards, and then I embedded them in the wood. You know, as you can see here. So basically they, they clip right on, they hold pretty good, and then I applied some finish to the wood, and as you can see they hold very, very well. Doesn't matter what you do to it, you know, they're not gonna come off. I like to be organized, and if, you know, if that helps me be organized, that's what I gotta do, that's what I'm gonna do. I made a bunch of those too. Uh, I have sold a few on eBay, so if you guys are ever interested, let me know. These guys here, love these. Um, wall designers. Now they did a good job with these. Now these are these are rotary, all right, rotary. Obviously they're cordless, um, so they got plenty of power. When you plug them in, I mean, there's more than enough. You could really kick some butt with these. Now that's the only reason I have the speedo guards because the guards go very well with this. And I, I find myself using this a lot more, saving me a lot of time on haircuts. You know, you get your regular scissors. This blade here is the MD Sicilian. I definitely recommend that the most because it's got a extra exposed blade. You know, you could actually see a little, a little more. And uh, that thing works the best I've ever had a shaver work. Now, typical barber side. This is just a mixture of the, the aftershave with water. Uh, I find a lot of clients you know or kids they'll, they'll be like oh you know it hurts whatever it burns it doesn't burn <laughs> anyways I water it down a little bit so this way you know the kids or whoever has a problem with that stuff it's a little cooler either way um, I usually use the blow dryer while I'm using the uh, aftershave because if you use a blow dryer it'll basically take away any kind of burning feel that they have Andy's cool care we all know what that is that's a must-have um, or any kind of Clipper cleaner, rust preventative, you know, five in one sprays that they have. Those you're gonna need for every haircut. After every haircut, you're gonna be using some of that, definitely. All right. Now, this down here is the um, basically the same thing, but it's from Cut Chemist. And it was it was made for the uh, the Cut Chemist Andy's uh, Masters. It does really no different than what Cool Care does. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it's in that that type of bottle so when you're actually spraying it it sprays kind of wide so you're really spraying the air you know you're actually wasting quite a bit it's the only kind of dumb thing i think about it but it's very good stuff it works just as well here's a duster you know clean off all the hair on people double check with your standards wherever you you live and cut hair at because they're not always allowed so i guess it's it's, it's a sanitary thing so I don't, I don't use it much but i do use it you know, I got my bottle of water. You always need a bottle of water, whether you're using it to shave or, or wet the hair. Um, you know, here I got hair tonic and the, um, the aftershave, the clean. This is basically pretty much for the same thing, different smell. Um, the oil, oil your clippers 
basically, you know, I don't have to, I don't do it every haircut. Some people say you should, the manufacturers say you should. They're also the ones that make the oil, so the faster they get you to buy another oil, you know, the more money they make. Finish sheen, this is basically just an oil sheen spray for the hair. Um, basically, it make you feel like you're, you know, you look a little better and you really don't. It just smells good and makes you feel like you have a glossy head. This is the applicator I had for the, for the, um, the actual clear shave gel. I don't use that anymore. That's actually been there for a few years. <laughs> I haven't touched it. So, um, but you know, it, it's, the way it works is, this is supposed to be like for color, I guess, the bottle. Anyways, I bought the bottle and I put the shave gel in it from a different bottle and you're able to use it and go around the head. So you just draw the line around the shape up and later when you get to that area, you don't have to worry about the gel drying. You actually just move it with your finger and, and, and actually use it. So um, I got exotic sh shave therapy. Tell you the truth, I haven't even used it yet because of what's next to it. Um, and I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just saying, um, so far from what I've noticed, the Easy Blade. Now this is Jada Barber. He made this stuff, and I tell you what, he did a damn good job. He, um, I watched a couple of his videos, and I'm saying, hey, I haven't seen a haircut in a while. Why? And I noticed, I noticed a few of his videos are all in this Easy Blade stuff. So I'm saying, oh, what the hell? Let me try some. I bought some. Love it. I see why he's promoting it big time because it's real good stuff. Highly recommended. Uh, you definitely got to go out and get some. I ended up getting mine for seven bucks. When I got when I got it in, I got it from eBay. When I got it in the mail, they gave me a five dollar off coupon. So the next bottle of Easy Blade is two bucks. I mean, you can't pass it up. Whether you get it for two bucks or twenty bucks, doesn't matter. Get it. It's great. Along with this stuff too, Elegant Shave and Gel. These are both top of line products. And again, I haven't tried the Exotic yet, so I'm not I'm not trying to you know crap all over them. From what I do know, these are 10 out of 10, both of them. Elegance is awesome. Um, this stays a little more, a little wet on the skin, a little more than this, but this this works well. This is almost like if you kind of put them on a, um, a hot towel shave. So both of those products, you guys should definitely check into it. I have regular gel, Eco Styler. To me, this is the best stuff. I get it from Sally's. Um, it's probably gonna be about four bucks a bottle. So you guys should definitely check into that. That's real good stuff. After it dries, Sanic, um, you know, the neck strips that go around your neck when you're, before you put the cape on. I used to have a, uh, a different kind of dispenser for it, and uh, I tell you what, go at Sanic. If you, um, if you find that there's like a third party um, dispenser, it, it's usually garbage, so I wouldn't even touch it. Um, you know, typical scissors, thinning shears, uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you always have your barber side. You got to make sure your stuff is clean. You probably want to make sure your stuff is clean before anything. Before you do anything with your clippers and you, you think you want to be the best, make sure they're clean. Because once you start infecting people and getting their, their skin all you know dirty with germs, I mean, you're going to be going downhill quick. So, um, you know, you always want a brush and, and different types of combs. I got my combs in there because they're being cleaned. Um, basically, that's just a quick run through of what I have now. I will be doing a, a video on these um, the Cut Chemist uh, Andy's Masters, and I will be doing a video on the designers to let you guys know what I did to them to customize them, and um, the, basically the pros and cons of each. So, um, you know, hope you guys like the video, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, peace.